Right, we're going to continue with the new technology forum with the next presentations. The topic is maximization and efficiency of sustainability. The presentation will be held in English, so if everybody, anybody needs interpretation, then at the front desk behind you, you can get a headset and a receiver and then get your interpretation. Vishal Patel will be speaking and... Uh, Okay, should I go ahead? Should I start? <laughs> okay. Uh, do you see something on the screen right here? That's Mount Everest. Now, uh, you might feel uh, what is a mountain doing in a presentation of, about IoT. This is the world's highest peak where a human can set foot on. Now, to reach there, there are a few steps. You cannot just jump onto the highest peak of the mountain and say, I've arrived. So to reach there, there are these easy six steps. Step one is go to the base camp at 17,598 feet. Go to camp two, 19,000 something feet. Camp three, cross the Lhotse face. Camp four, camp five, and then you're at the summit. So this is how you reach Mount Everest, easy. But first, Acclimatize. Now, uh, you might say, what is acclimatization to do with IoT? I'll go to that. So today I'd like to discuss a crucial concept that relates to the successful adaption of sensor-based data in your company. Acclimatize. Now let's break down the meaning of this term and draw an analogy. Acclimatize. To adapt or become accustomed to the new environment, conditions, or situation. For example, athletes might acclimatize to the heat by staying in Monte Carlo. I'll prefer Vegas. Synonyms, uh, acclimatize includes accommodate, adjust, confirm, and fit. The, this explanation is German. I don't know whether it's right or wrong, but that was Google. So, sorry for that. All right. Digital hygiene, this, uh, you, you've heard about hygiene, but what is the digital hygiene? So digital hygiene is the practice of establishing a clean and secure digital foundation for your organization's data and processes. Now, again, this meaning is from ChatGPT. I'm 100% sure it's right. All right, so now let's break this analogy between acclimatization and digital hygiene. Imagine your company's journey towards utilizing, utilizing sensor-based data as a challenging expedition, like climbing a mountain. Step one, adapt. Before climbers scale to the high mountain, they acclimatize themselves to the altitude. This involves adjusting to the lower oxygen levels and harsh conditions. Similarly, before embracing the sensor-based data, your company needs acclimatization or adapt to the changing landscape of digital technology. Step two, digital hygiene, establish a clean base. Just like climbers need to ensure their gears are in top shape, your company must establish a clean and secure digital foundation through digital hygiene. Similarly, this involves going paperless, optimized processes and ensuring that your existing digital systems are robust and efficient with adequate security. Now, why acclimatization matters? If climbers skip acclimatization, they risk altitude sickness or even failure to reach the summit. That's what everyone wants. They want to reach the summit, not just go halfway and come back. Similarly, uh, rushing into sensor-based data without digital hygiene can lead to data breaches, inefficiencies, and failure to fully harness the benefit of this IoT technology. So in conclusion, acclimatization in context of digital transformation is about adapting to the challenge, changing digital landscape, just as climbers adapt to the challenging environments. Prioritizing digital hygiene ensures that your company is well prepared and equipped to take full advantage of sensor-based and reach new heights of digital journey. By acclimatizing through digital hygiene, your company can successfully navigate to the digital terrain and reap rewards 
of sensor-based data without encountering the metaphorical altitude sickness of unpreparedness. So, this is what we do. Help businesses and companies acclimatize with goals to reach Industry 4.0, build a path of ensuring success, reach sustainability in production. Now, I need to explain the meaning of sustainability in production because everyone will relate to uh, growing plants, saving water, saving earth, but this context is a practice of minimizing environmental impact, conserving resources and reduce waste during manufacturing and production processes. So this is what it is. Now we'll uh, share a case study that we've specifically made for a lubricant industry called Fluid Edge. The logo of this company is making the lubricants speak or make your lubricant speak. It's a, again two-step method to reach industry 4.0 goals. Why this is needed? Sustainability in production, sustainability in productivity, save environment, save oil wastages and go paperless. Okay, if you see the problems, this guy has to go through a lot of sheets to manage the coolant. Now the problems are inaccurate data on oil consumption, water consumption, manual data, feeds of important aspects like coolant, concentration, pH, temperature, and no digital history of past issues and resolutions. So again, manual data, inaccurate data, history, no history tracking, no auto reporting, and no photo proof or validation. Right, this is the market size where if we don't take control of the lubricants now, probably uh, we won't reach the sustainability in production. So this is going to be the uh, peak of consumption and most of the consumption is going to come from APAC region, Asia Pacific region. So the solution is fluid edge. Accurate data of lubricants consumed is the key to effective productivity and proper disposal. All right, so we made this app, this is a dashboard. You, you're welcome to come to our site. Our booth is at Hall 9 uh, in uh, startup area. We'll show you the real working of this. Right now, you can just see a few dashboards that we have. You have a map view of all your assets, where your machines are situated. We'll show you on a, a real-time view of map with uh, red signal, blue, green, so you'll know whether the machine is in right condition or not. Uh, it'll show you the consumptions like this and graphical representations of the consumption soil and all those things. Now, step one is this. Uh, we made an app, so rather than jumping directly to the automatic data from sensors, step one is go digital. First, implement uh, app-based uh, data, manual data uh, feeding in. Once you're there, then you can go to the data uh, the, for the automation of the data. So our software is ready for uh, integration with legacy sensors, so which can give you a concentration, your pH, temperature, flow meter. We're also uh, developing a very unique uh, sensor which will give all key four uh, important aspects of water-soluble coolant like concentration, pH, temperature, and conductivity in one go. That's, that's how it will look like when it's ready. There's some hardware uh, again to manage the coolant. Uh, we have named it uh, inspired from it Italy, Mojito, Separeto, and Trempito. So maybe the name resembles what it do. So Mojito, to give you an easy explainer, Mojito is a drink. You mix alcohol and water in the right amount. Similarly, Mojito 4.0 mixes oil and water in the right amount. And then Separeto it separates oil. Trempito removes the tramp oil from the coolant. And again, the sensors. So technology of the future can save our environment. This is an easy pricing plan. If you have just one CNC machine, you can use it for free. If you have up to 10 machines, it's $10 per month. Euro will be maybe less, maybe eight euro. Uh, if you have more than 11 to 85, $8. And more than $25, it's five. More than 25 machines, it's $5 per machine per month. And we are open for co-branding, we are open for white labeling, if you are an OEM, if you are a big distributor in Europe, if you want to tie up with us, uh, we can help you co-brand with us or white label our product in your name. So that's it.
That's the contact. We are at Hall 9, uh, E34. If anyone wants to come and see the real uh, working of our software, you're most welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you.